This video has been voice acted by a free man or not. If you'd like to know more of what it is that I do, check the link in the description to get to my own YouTube channel. You have been warned. Hindu and Buddhist religions believe in reincarnation, i.e. if you spend your time on earth as an average police officer or behaving like a pig, you come back as a pig in the next. If you spend your life meditating, your next life will be as some energy being. But what sets other kin apart from this? The difference is that if you spend thousands of dollars on fantasy novels, cosmetic surgery and knickknacks in this life, you will end up having to be recycled instead of cremated when you die. Other kin take it one step further into fantasy by canonizing what fictional characters are real and what aren't real and then claim to be real versions of fantasy beings. Despite how these are thousands of creatures from folklore and cryptozoology in cultures around the world, like the humanoid Ibu Gogo of Indonesia, which has not yet been proven to exist. Other kin don't go for this. In the same way that all furries have their fursonas as either foxes, wolves or blobs of giant penises. Most other kin all believe that they are either dragons, werewolves, elves or boy tars. Nothing else qualifies as real to other kin. For maximum trollage, you can also confuse them with role players. Other kin take it even further in that not one of them is even familiar with ancient mythology and just believes whatever distortion of it the 20th century shat out. For instance, no other kin elves are of the original folklore variant. If you see an other kin saying that they're an elf that was a tall, thin, pointy-eared, immortal tree hugger, then remind them that Tolkien made that version up. If you see another kin claiming to be a fairy that wasn't a demon that terrorized people and gave human sacrifices to, then that's the disnification of original fairy myths. At some point, other kin lost track of what's from pop culture's bastardized version of ancient mythology and what's just made up, and thus became otaku kin, other kins based on sonikshu and hubbard fiction. Some other kin are so desperate to be unique that they'll end up making up their own creature that no one else knows about and therefore is uber powerful. Other kin are often compared to furries because all are into yiffing and furry porn, but while furries have a vague sense, a very vague sense, that they are not really their fursona, other kin are as dedicated to their lifestyle as Gorians. I am what I am. Other kin on live journal always have icons of whatever they're supposed to be. These are invariably physically attractive, if only to them. Their sex drives are usually warped by severe Asperger's syndrome, which of course excuses all poor behavior and or acts in bad faith ever, making you mean for noticing the obvious lulls. Without exception, other kin are unhappy, depressed individuals who need to escape from reality for one reason or another. Many will attribute this and their inability to maintain jobs, spouses and successful lives to their mysterious condition of Jew, meaning that their angelic, demonic, draconic, necronic, fifth invader force heritage is effectively preventing them from making an effort at anything other than chatting online with other kin. Reading Robert Jordan's books, playing EverQuest or any other number of activities that will not improve their quality of life. Most are not delusional to begin with, but the comfort of their imagined heritage eventually manifests itself as hallucinations, phantom limbs and traits concurrent with their chosen creature. It can be seen as an unhealthy progression of an initial interest in wicker and fantasy literature. Other kin are usually hopelessly lame unless they are jazz and artist Sun Ra. To try and change their image, other kin like Jaren Dreamsinger are trying to rename themselves to kin to the other. Many will claim to have multiple personality disorder with all or most of their alters also being other kin. Many of them enjoy attacking innocent bystanders with pig poles or going equipped to kill people in the guise that they are teaching vampire hunters a lesson. You can learn more about their fucked up behavior from this website which is definitively worth a read if you want to laugh. 
They are susceptible to hardcore trolling on the basis that they send an approval email the second you register your account. The admin there believes he is a vampire in human form that will later be anally violated by a vampire in dead form, which will turn into a mega vampire in anal form, which will cause him to shit blood and eat a turd or something equally dramatic. Apparently being a vampire hunter is of particular concern to them, as it threatens their position as the most delusional retards at risk of anal violation on the planet. How other kin awaken. An awakening is when a mundane realizes that they are other kin. It can be artificially induced by Eova's awakening image here. You can tell it's pro by Tacomic Sands. Or it can happen naturally, like below. Didn't Son of Sam start out the same way? Tathueni Tanath Aryan describes her awakening. My friend Anna went to Japan and brought me back a small iron dragon, which I kept as a good luck charm. He was silent for two years. Then he suddenly started talking to me. I'm guessing four, maybe five years until bodies started appearing in the crawl space under her house. A psychological explanation behind an other kin awakening is that they are losers who will do anything, say anything, to feel like they are special, to give their lives meaning. A typical other kin will be fed up with how much he or she sucks. They have no friends and nobody likes them. Nobody ever will. Since girls don't like them, they either do the following, A, become gay, or B, become fur fags. Since human females will never go near them, being fed up with life, but too cowardly to do the world a favor and commit suicide, they take refuge in pretending that they are somebody. They begin to pretend that they live another life, in another world, as a dragon or elf, or whatever helps them feel better about themselves. Eventually, they begin to have dreams about being a dragon, being the desperate low-life fucks that they are. Desperate for any sign that their lives mean something. They confuse their dreams with memories. After all, that's the only logical explanation, right? It is very sad to witness. All attempts to cure this psychological sickness have failed. After all, it would mean that these other kin, to give up their only means of feeling special, admit that they are human and that they are not, in fact, special. Therefore, the only way to cure this sickness is to put them to sleep. A good way to do this is to copy and paste this explanation in an other kin chat room. It will cause them to confront reality whether they like it or not, and have either three things happen. You will be banned, or they will kill themselves, or both. How to know if you are other kin. The official way to know if you are other kin is to keep a journal that includes what you have craved, did, dreamt, felt, pills you popped, and the size, color, and consistency of all your bowel movements. You must ask yourself all manner of questions, from philosophical, religious, to questions of who you are, in other words, is it an excuse to be self-wrapped up emo as you wonder who you are, just like everybody else did as a teenager? If you flew in your dreams, does this mean you are a cool dragon? If you got bullied by someone at school, does this mean that you are a special outcast who had special powers? The accepted answer to this question, are you other kin, is that you are whatever you think you are. No one can tell you otherwise. If one day you feel sleepy and you think that means that you're a gigantic sleeping dragon, then you are. And if the next day you feel hyper, then you could be an active fox. Tack on one of the following for bonus points. Halo, wings, powers, shapeshifting, language that doesn't exist. Realistically? No idiot, you're more likely to have colon cancer or be a secret sharer than some kind of magical creature. Unless, that is, you're reading, or better, writing, Encyclopedia Dramatica. In which case, you should know you're a troll. In our past lives, we used to eat all these other kin for lunch. Come to think of it, we still do. Other kin hobbies. Once awakened, other kin like to engage in a wide variety of mostly online activities. All of them can be overlapped with and being batshit insane. Attention seeking. The main reason that anyone is an other kin is because these attention whores have not done anything with their lives. 
they have to think of something edgy that they can call themselves. And so they search around on Tumblr until they find the hot new fad, Otherkin. This will make everyone stare at me. They think to themselves as they begin to pull ideas out of their ass. I know, I'll say I'm a dragon. And so their attention-seeking orgy begins as they share their retardation to the rest of the world in hopes of people stopping and staring at them as they spread their social justice bullshit. Drama bombing. Otherkin are frequently panned by the portal of evil while largely unnoticed by something awful. Live Journal's most famous otherkin is perhaps underscore Starblade underscore, who always makes an ass out of himself in LJ's debate community. From the ashes of a huge thread about Christianity and other kim came the catchphrase, fuck you, I'm a dragon. The song I want to be a dragon summarizes the otherkin lifestyle. Wikipedophiles have written a long ass novel called Talk Otherkin. There is also an ultra-condensed summary of Talk Otherkin, titled Otherkin. Explaining that Otherkin are online losers or retards according to all established science. An easy way to create drama is to go through Otherkin's accounts of past life memories and astral plane adventures and point out the parts stolen from Dungeons and Dragons. Glamour Bombing Glamour Bombing is where fat, delusional fairykin run around downtown in your city, naked except for a cowboy hat, face paint, a tutu, and fairy wings to, you know, freak the mundanes and stuff. Most people who glamour bomb are stupid burner fucks and or have probably never held to even the simplest fast food job for more than a week at best. They live off their very disappointed mommy's money and or government welfare checks. If caught glamour bombing, they will try to set you straight with magical facts, like how they do not believe indigo is a collar. They also think elves invented the nuke. Recently, a bit of speculation was floated that elven magic, now with a K for extra fear, was responsible for the creation of the atomic bomb. In fact, there was even an elven holocaust to cover up the fact that the elves created the nuke. For real, guys. Intellectual bombing. Even though they will admit to having dropped out of college as their first or second semester to spend more time watching Adult Swim, almost all other can have multiple PhDs. Their doctorates are usually held in whatever field of study is most relevant to the current debate that they are engaged in. Therefore, it is totally possible for an other kin to announce today that they hold a PhD in physiology astrophysics and nuclear medicine to inform you tomorrow that they also have advanced degrees in computer science, civil engineering and ancient history. You may also notice that many other kin who have multiple doctorates are in their teens and early twenties, which of course would make them far more intelligent than an average person. This may be difficult to believe considering that every argument with an other kin will eventually just end up with those who disagree with him being repeatedly called close-minded, no matter what the facts of the argument may be. Amazingly enough, as if the 12 college degrees at the age of 21 isn't impressive enough, it is mandatory that all other kin have an innate knowledge of the covert military operations and classified secrets of every government on earth. This way they can explain to all non-believers how it is that science has not discovered their existence, as it was explained by one other kin by the name of Akron's Crow on the Lilith's Lair ES board. All of the world governments, every educational system and every media outlet in the world are participating in a global conspiracy to keep the truth about other kins a hidden secret which in and of itself raises an interesting question. If it is such a closely guarded secret, why are real other kin allowed to speak so freely about it? Infighting. As with furry forums, other kin forums are highly unstable and drama can easily erupt without any outside interference. Newcomers were frequently told to get the fuck out after being accused by forum regulars of role-playing. Although most forums stopped doing this after the admins realized that they needed all the support they can get. Unfortunately, most other kin boards won't let you view their content without an account and thus will attempt to hide such problems from the mundanes, 
because obviously other kin are perfect and are therefore above such squabbling. Other kin are so pathetic that they can't even agree with their own community which kins are legit and which ones aren't. The wolf kin attack the anime kin and the fiction kin attack the tinfoil kin to prove which one is real in the fuckfest of special snowflake syndrome. What they don't realize, however, is that every last one of them is full of shit. An easy way to troll other kin is to claim to be other kin but use a creature out of Hubbard mythology, such as the Arslicious, Coltis, Espinal, Helaturbus, Hoipoloi, Markabians, Maw, and Targs. An even easier way is to pretend to be an Otaku kin, or Navi kin. With the release of Avatar, of course, other kin communities such as the batshit insanity that is otherkin.com and the internet at large actually, now have people claiming to be Navi otherkin. The first Navi kin was furiously denied. That is some pretty lead trolling, having pretty much raped otherkin.com into saying retarded things like, I am polyshifting dragon but you can't be a Navi and pfft, you're crazy fantasist. Pot kettle black much? As well as causing a veritable shitstorm across the internet, this is because Navi kin are otaku kin, a cousin of other kin who they usually despise. There is even more potential drama to this, so. So. Do it, faggot. Whichever you do, the result will be a massive flame war over whether you should be accepted into their forum or not. Fuck you all anyway. I'm a Native American other kin. I'm half Cherokee and half Griffin. Yet despite all my cool powers, I still have to work night shifts replenishing shelves at Safeway for £5.25 an hour. You would think that being so cool, I would have figured a way to use my unique way to make some more proper bucks. But hey, you're wrong. Other kin aren't sad, lonely weirdos, and we cope with our reality just fine, thank you. Hypnotech, trolling the YouTube otherkins. It is also a lot of fun to tell any other kin who claim to be unsure of what kind of mythical critter they supposedly are that there's some good chance that they are actually human. Be sure to change it up a little each time to avoid getting nailed for copy pasta. Always heap on the loads of sympathy for the fucktard in training and talk about how wonderful human beings are and all the amazing superhuman achievements they have made, like the A-bomb. Not only will it irk the other kin who will no doubt be spewing random creatures pulled from the monster manuals at the newbie up till you post. There is a chance of getting amused batshit insane replies from the newbie who has no idea what they could possibly be other than human, yet is so damn sure that they are not human. Only non-humans can post on an other kin forum or they will be zapped by the fairies, right? Right? You could also start a thread about Asperger's and other similar disorders other kin are plagued by and see how many will reply. Try to get the entire forum to reply. Yet another way of trolling other fangs, make a throwaway account on Tumblr and spam the other kin, therian, therianthropy, non-human and fiction kin tags with shit posts, goatsy, posts saying they're faggots and posts calling them fur fags. They get butt hurt, ball and right rants about ignoring the trolls. And lastly, a note for those who wish to troll other kin in real life, if they identify as non-human, it is legal to deny them human rights. Example of trolling other kin. Other kin, even with their over 9000 PhDs, cannot discern between truth and fiction, which results in major lols. Apparently, Mario is real and haunts them in their sleep. Some guy actually figured it out and whined about it, but got flamed. On July 29th, 2009, a truly epic group of four friends infiltrated otherkin.com for nothing but lols. The result was the one designated to be kind to the other kin was banned and the guy who spammed their boards and broke every single rule in one post, every single one, continues to be registered to this day. This once and for all proved that other kin are nothing but truly confused bastards, also known as you. Special mention, Therianthropy. Therianthropy, meaning beast man in Greek, is the unholy love child of other kin and furfagotry. In place of dragons and elves, you get wolves, 
more wolves and a tiger or two. Therians often enjoy using their spiritual nature as an excuse for bad behavior, much like how Aspies use theirs as an excuse to be an asshat. Only this time you'll have, I'm sorry I'm such a slut, but my stereotype doesn't mate for life. Or, I ate my stepson because I'm a lion in human body, and lions always kill the offspring of another male when they take over a pride. Like furries, they are the most ill-represented group of people, and get trolled IRL worse than gays, black people and Jews. Most of them will try to tell you that it's not all about running around naked, growling and trying to bite people, but a deep, profound connection to animals – that somehow doesn't include bestiality – and glorified misanthropy and acting like a dick by crawling around a public place meowing. To troll a therianthrotype, simply ask it why there are so many wolf therianthrotypes and particularly no others. Posting this question on an otherkin forum is guaranteed to start a massive defensive flame war. Claiming that all therianthrotypes are wannabe werewolves who change their title to sound cool will also result in many a sore part. Gently reminding a therianthrotype that they call themselves lichens, a term stolen from cheap werewolves movie, a few years back may also result in trollish gold. Ironically, they'll sit at the computer possibly stuffing their face with Doritos while bitching about how cruel people are for failing to respect and understand that they need to have a public urination and growling at everyone that takes their parking space. For an example of a Therian that can shapeshift between human and true form, see Winged Wolf. Otherkin Human War Most otherkin believe that the otherkin human war will soon happen. The explanations are extremely too long, didn't read, but the basic idea is that otherkin see a lot of battles happening on an astral plane that gets worse and worse, and they know that very soon the veil will fall causing the planes will open up and most people will spontaneously awaken and then permanently shapeshift into their otherkin forms. Of course, as humans hate all non-humans, this means war and not a new age of enlightenment. An alternative theory is that it won't be that bad, but simply a lot of people will see Iowa's awakening image and become otherkin. Iowa is a Reiki master who made an image that anyone who sees it spontaneously through Reiki awakens as an other kin. Ewa is now dead, which most other kin believe he was murdered to make it look like a suicide, and they suspect Rialian and Jarandel, but there's no evidence at all. So they of course spout conspiracy theories. So when enough people see this awakening image and awaken, then Iowa will rise from the dead as the messiah to lead a lot of basement dwellers to war against the humans. Other kin civil war. Otherkin are so pathetic that they even argue within their own hug box about who is the specialist snowflake and whose kin is real. The cat kin go after the mermaid kin for not existing, the mermaid kin goes after the fiction kin for not being completely made up, the fiction kin go after the stone kin for not being sentient, and the stone kin do the necessary procedure to have the mindset of their true form. The whole debate within the Otherkin community can be fixed by pointing out that every last one of them is full of shit. However, they're all too stupid to listen. Thank you all for watching and or listening, and we hope that this has been entertaining. If you'd like to hear more from me, a free man or not, check the link in the description that leads you to my YouTube channel, and you will find what manner of stuff I do there. I can assure you that if you enjoy this, what I do on my channel, is also very entertaining. See you around. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Protective Services. It's time to stop.